Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll try to work on creating specular maps. What are specular maps? Specular maps are the shiny parts or the shiny areas and try to give us the illusion of the surface, whether it's a metallic surface or a flat wooden surface and all. So we'll try to use a couple of programs here. We'll try to use Mudbox for creating a specular maps. You can still continue with Photoshop and work on speculars. But right now, I would like to show you how to work on Mudbox to create a specular maps and then move forward to Photoshop to work on creating some more maps. Okay? Now, if you check the mesh here, the texture, sorry, I just change the blade color to dark, a little bit darker. Okay, that's the only one thing which I've changed, nothing else. Nothing else, so don't get confused. So once this is done, what I do, I just select my mesh. You can work on the low mesh or the high mesh better. When you're working on uh, my box, try to work on high resolution mesh because we need some loops here. So I'm working on the high mesh now. So select everything. You can go to file, send to mud box. This is one option you can do, or else you can just export all as FBX and open it in mud box. But right now, I'll still continue with the file, send it to mud box. The same thing if you're getting any problems, export all as FBX and open the file. Now, file, send it to mud box. It takes a couple of seconds to launch Mudbox. Okay, now it's launching. This is Mudbox is one of the wonderful tools when you're working on creating the textures. I prefer Mudbox for textures and ZBrush for sculpting. There are a couple of uh, advantages on this thing. I'll explain you when we are working on the different anime style of so keep mesh so okay take some time okay see as I said it it's clearly you can see that everything is there with the texture everything and here you can see sculpt and paint there's no sculpt is here because everything is textures so you can see diffuse maps the normal maps the normal maps are the things which we clearly you know that this is the normal maps. Can you see this one? So everything is here. Now we'll try to create a specular maps. It's very simple and very clear. What I will do is that still everything is there. I'll click on plus here. It will create create new paint layer. In channel, I'll change it to specular. Okay, now you got a specular map. You can zoom in. Okay, now before painting the specular map, I would like to work on high resolution mesh. When I'm painting a texture, I would like to work on a high resolution. So just move your mouse cursor on this surface, the blade, right blade, and press Shift D. When you press Shift D, it increases the resolution of the mesh. Now, I'll go for level 3. That's good. Now, zoom in here. It's double click on paint. You can see it's black color if it's black. I'll change it to white. White is the specular areas. And if you see here, the brush size is too big. If you hold B, B for brow, <laughs> just drag it down. You can go here and resize it. But here, it's hold B. That's it. And strength is M. You can increase it, or else you can just make it 100. I don't want to paint like normal brush, so I can use a stamp. I can just select any one of the stamps. I prefer this one. Okay. Drag it 
aquí. Me sigue. Okay, don't be in a rush to do everything instantly. You may be <laughs> during the RAM, you give us all sorts of shortcut methods, then how come we can't work on this now? For some things, patience. Okay, don't be in a hurry. I'll zoom in here. Here also, if I want, I can just go to some other, something like this. I'll use a very big brush and intensity, I'll just change it to some low intensity. Okay, now you can see that, you can't see much of it, but when you twist it, tilt it, you can feel the difference. Or else I'll go for some other thing. Raise the resolution a little bit. You can feel. See here. Here. Can you see here? Can see you? I'll zoom in here. Okay. I like it. Here, if you want, still want the more you can just increase, change the brush size. What is the shortcut key for brush size? B. Okay, I'll increase the resolution. You can go for if it looks okay. The same thing, in fact, I can tell it here. Shift T, move your mouse cursor here, shift T, 1, 2, and 3. I like it now. Come here. I'll go for this one. You can see the effect with the light effect. You can't just feel it. That's look good. I'll go for something here. Decrease the intensity. I'll decrease the intensity to something like 30% or something. Little brush. See, can you see now? Mm. I like this one. Now the same thing we'll do is that go to this wooden layer, I can paint. So come here, increase the resolution, I'll go for 3 and then what I'll do, I'll just go for something, the same brush, I'll just switch on random, okay. If you change it to black and increase the intensity, you can see after removing the specular values. So if you are working on white, you are adding the specular. You got it now? Huh? I want some speculars here. I'm happy with it now. And the same thing here, more here. Shift D, Shift D. See, once <laughs> this is the problem. When I'm applying the Shift D, you are losing the shape. So page down. I'm back to the normal zero. I'll just go for some normal 
shapes like this. Oh, like this. Use this uh, and randomize. Brush is too big, so B. First, I'll change it to black color. Black means I don't want any shining. It's flat like this. So first of all, I can remove every there's no no speckles. Then change it to white. Paint your speckles. I'll decrease the intensity. See, it's flat. And just paint it. I just wanted to show you that how you can control. Okay. I don't know. If I did the same thing here. Here, I'll decrease the brush size. I want the speculars in this area. Can you see? The same way. Can tumble my default. You can see some speculars here. Can you see them? Okay. I didn't. I didn't paint it here with a pencil. I'll come back here. I'll increase the press size. It's up to you how you want it. Here I'll just go flip it down. Increase the intensity. Okay. See. If I like it, I'll just go, what I do, just come down, page down, page down, page down. So I'll go back to the normal resolution key, move it down. Now we are back to a normal 670. Now I can just say file, I can send it. You can save as export as let's say send it to Maya or update the scene, or else you can just right click and say export selected. I'll save as JPEG. It should be in documents, Maya, projects, default, source images. I'll save this as specular, axe texture specular. Yes. So I just exported the specular. If you want it, you can do all the stuff, but right now minimize it. Come back to Maya. In specular color, in same specular color, click on here. File, where's the file? It's in source images and it's specular. Right? This is what we did the painting. This one. Now, this is not the one. Okay, I'll go back here. So, export selected. I'll go zero. It's a JPEG. Save it. Now come back to Maya. X material. Change it to speckle. Zero one. Perfect. 
source images. Okay. It has saved us all sorts of things here. I'm betting surely should not happen. If something should come here, what I'll do is that I'll go back to my box. I'll send it. Send it to my update the currency. Okay. Now go back to my it's updated. Can you see here? Now can you see the speculars? Everything. But the only problem is that when you update it, it changes the material to form, change it to plane. Okay? So that you get some. Okay? Change it to blend. And if you come here, you can work on a little bit of, see here. You can increase this one. Increase this one. Okay? 3.5. I like this one as one as this one. But I can't see this one. Can you see? I want this specular. I'll use Photoshop now. Now, if you come here, specular, it's saved in. Where does it see? It's in Maya Project World Source. No, 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 no. no. So when I send it, it will be in my box. So come here, file open, go to my box, libraries, documents, my box. My box. Ah. Sometimes I really get this is material UV plant speculative. U1, V1 speculative. Yeah, we did it. This, sorry, so I'll just say export selected. I'm saving here. I save one. Come back to Photoshop. File open. U1, V1. Okay, this is the one. Okay, we got this one. This is what we painted. All these shiny areas and all things is fine. Now what I'll do is that I'll copy this one, drag and dump it on our normal PSC network. That's perfect. And I'll open the design one. Just switch off this one. Not this one, not this one, yeah, this one, drag it on top of it, so you can see that one, so I just want that color, so duplicate it, copy, copy, now shift, select everything, merge layers, now one more, one more, yeah, I like this one. So, merge layer, now I like it. Now file, save as, JPEG, I'll save as specular. Okay, we'll save as specular. Close it, go back to Maya. Now here, we'll go by the source images, specular. Now can you see the specular now? When it's flat, you can't see that effect. If you want more bright, this one, you can just start duplicating it. Duplicating. Now it's bright. I'll save this as a JPEG. Once again. Specular. Go back to Maya. Reload the specular. 
preload it. You can see the status now. Now this is how we create the speckle of maps. Right? Now try to render it. What I did was that it's very basically I created a normal plane and I applied a use background texture if you hold right click. Favorite middle, use background and use background. I change the reflective to zero, reflection limit to zero. That's done. Now the next thing is that go to camera attribute editor. In camera attribute editor, change the environment to gray, some gray blue. That's fine. Go back to render settings. Go to the quality. By default, your quality is unified sampling. Change it to legacy sampling mode and increase the maximum sample levels to two. Next step, go to the indirect light, switch on final color. Right? Once you switch on final gather, minimize it. It's better. Go to view, camera settings, resolution gate. This is one of the things you should use it. If you use it, this one, you can you can start seeing the image, the mesh or the model and the size. See. So I adjust it perfectly. I like this one. And click on Render. Right? That's it. You can still work on it. You can darken this speculars or increase uh, this one work on this sentence a little bit down okay one I'll store this image render it so you can start working at different variations using the eccentricity and the specular roll off and try to angle your object your model to view different page or variation in your Speculars. So let's wait. Once it is done, we can say we are nearly done, or we are done with this tutorial where we can say that we have completed the modeling of an axe, unwrapped it, and textured it, and we did faked of ambient application. Thanks, guys, and see you soon in the next series of tutorials. Bye.